All right, well, with our next bout, it is about with two fathers that both fight for their children. Coming out first, Mike Sanders got a four and three overall record, fights out of a Legends Martial Arts Gym. As I said, both of these men are fathers, and I, you could just see the passion they have for their kids. This guy has a, a very strong Muay Thai background, so expect him to utilize that over the course of this fight. Yeah, the previous fight we saw out of Legends tonight, Ben De, uh, DeCrenzo put on a fantastic performance. So when you, when you train with guys like that, you can only assume Mike Sanders is gonna put on quite a show. Absolutely, and the man standing across from him, the always energetic, the always just game to fight, charismatic, Alate Denard uh, says that his daughter watches all of his fights and his interviews online. He does this for her, and he's excited to win this and hopefully get a challenge at the title. Right? His daughter always motivates him. He says every time he steps out there, he improves. He's looking for fights that make him uncomfortable, and he said, to Mike Sanders' credit, that's exactly what he's sure he's going to do in this fight. Alate Denard told us, no disrespect to my opponent, but he's in my way, and he must get bulldozed. Yeah, I mean, you talk about some of the guys that have made a name for themselves outside of the ring or the cage. Alte Denard is out there. You talk him, you talk to him, excuse me, for five minutes, you realize this guy can market himself and market a fight pretty well. It's hard not to like him. It's hard not to like Taylor either. I mean, both these guys really good dudes. Again, stepping in there with daughters, it, you, you hope that, you, you hate that someone has to lose and you hope that they can both get home safe to their families waiting for them. But. Let's throw it over to Mike Falvo in the, in the ring. Boxing scheduled for three two-minute rounds at 155 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stepped through the ropes with a fight record of four wins, three losses, representing legends, martial arts, Mike Sanders. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He steps through the ropes with a fight record of two wins, one loss, representing Culture Fight Club, Alate Denard. The man in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Mr. Chris Romulo. All righty. This one's going to be a, a fun fight. Alate, fantastic at dealing with pressure fights well off the back foot, utilizes his jab very well. His last fight, we saw a lot more pressure out of him and a lot more leg kicks Ooh. than usual. Nice shots there from Sanders to start out. Nice hooks. K-Series here, Liam Tarrant and Jacob Cooperman joining you here. Three scheduled two-minute rounds. And, and, you know, this is not what you want to see Alate doing because uh, nice body wow. shots there. You got to be careful, though, with Mike Sanders because Mike Sanders can crack. He's got power for days. So Tay's got to just be careful that he doesn't put himself into, pro into trouble, excuse me. If you get stuck going down for those left-right body shots, that head yeah. is open. That hook oh. is there all day. A slick head movement there, came back with a, with a high kick. And I'm excited to see what adjustments he's made coming into this one. I mean, like I said, when he was walking out, every single Alate Denard fight we've seen, it's been like scaffolding on a building. He adds something new to his arsenal. This time it seems to be body shots, but the, the last fight he fought was the first fight where we saw a much more aggressive Alate Denard. Ooh, Do just we, gets out of the way there, yeah. leans back nicely. Doing a good job of pressuring. But Sanders, again, like we talked about, you know, you can't really get too overzealous or look for too many shots because... Ooh, accidental shot oh. there. Sanders was trying to throw a knee, accidentally caught the cup of Alate Denard. Alate's going to take as much time as he needs. That looks like it hurts. Mm. Perhaps we can get a, uh, I don't know how, okay, they're getting back into it. Yeah, he's ready to go right away. That's what we talked about, being game, being ready to go. Yep. Part of being a fighter. Good high guard from Alate. End of round number one here. Oh, oh. Uh, scores on the body kick, unfortunately, He off might balance. have hurt his left ankle there. I don't, I yeah, don't, I don't know. That, that was... Something seemed oh, wrong about that. Very solid left shot coming in from Sanders on that exchange. Perhaps we can get a replay on the break because that did seem, to your point, yeah. like structurally something went wrong. Came down Buckled. in a weird way there. Yeah. And how is that going to affect his mobility? I could be wrong. I mean, no, no, it, it, it definitely up. looked it like was something odd, was, yeah. didn't seem natural about that. But Alate is a guy that, you know, for instance, like he has a, a nine to five outside, as most of these guys do. He's no, uh, no stranger to fighting through adversity. Neither of these guys are. 
Nice combination What there. I'm seeing so far is those punches from Sanders are dangerous with a capital D. Yeah, I, I, I might give that first round to Tay, Al Tay. I don't know, do you, would you agree? I mean, because it seems like he was pushing the pace really, really well. And to your point, yeah. when Sanders was scoring, he was scoring big, but I thought that Tay outvalued him. As far as volume wise, yeah. output of volume, I, I would agree. I think uh, Alte Denard, here we're going to see a replay here. Uh, yeah, it looks like he came up. Yeah, when he was there, kicking, he came up and then landed kind of on the side of his foot. Didn't look like he twisted his ankle, but if you watch right. his left foot there. Is this a, again? So goes to the Oh, yeah, he might have rolled it. Possibly. It looked like he landed right on the ridge yeah. of the foot. That might have been a roll. Yeah, but you know what? It, it obviously wasn't bad enough to stop him. The adrenaline's probably going, so he won't yeah. feel it for about 20 minutes if anything did happen. Hopefully it didn't. Bashieri did say that if they both got Ws, they are going out tonight, so I don't know if that ankle injury is gonna get in the way with that. We'll have to see. But for this fight, I mean, fantastic first round. Both of these guys, I feel like we've said this in a lot of these fights tonight, is that both these guys seem to have brought in game plans and are following them pretty religiously. Of course, uh, second round of a potential three here. Under the lights at the Melrose Ballroom. Fantastic venue, fantastic event, oh. and an immediate shot to the stones. <laughs> Denard is protesting again. I mean, I, I feel for it's him. That's gotta be, I mean, yeah. It happens. It's an accidental thing. I didn't quite catch that one, but he's gonna be mad that I when he watches this back that I was laughing at that. Oh, we're not laughing at you, Denard. This is a crazy. It's just unfortunate for it to happen the first shot yeah. out. Now, referee Chris Romulo did warn Mike Sanders. Said one more time. Uh, Taking a point. I'm gonna take a point. Yep. Yeah. And that's a big deal in a three-round fight to have to, to, to have a point off. You don't have that many to lose. Yeah, well, you know what? Funnily enough, the last event that Tay fought at, uh, the similar thing happened in, uh, in, in Brandon Watson's title fight. Three groin strikes, or four groin strikes in a row. But Mike Sanders doing a good job right now of just overloading Tay. Mike Sanders seems to be throwing the, the heavier punches, in my opinion, but yeah. Alte seems to be throwing more kicks and more of a variety of shots. But right. uh, I tell you, Sanders, is uh, those punches are something to look out for. Yeah. And, I mean, credit to Alte's chin, too, for withstanding those shots. Yeah, absolutely. Nice body shot from Sanders there. Yeah, to what you said there, Coop, the chin on Alte Denard is quite impressive. Yeah, and for a guy that hasn't been in the fight game for that long, I mean, it's, it's impressive to see him hanging in there. I mean, Sanders is a veteran of the game. He's, I think he's been doing this around 12 years. Yes. So very good showing from, from both men. Oh, and you can hear the shots, to your point, yeah. when they land, even if they hit the glove. The shot rocks the head back of Sanders there from Tay. Tay's got to be careful. He, he, when he goes down yeah. like that, it's it's... We, Never met, safe. we mentioned before, illegal to knee to the head, but if you do duck your head down like that and you get kneed, yeah. it's on you. And it's also dangerous when you've got kicks involved here because getting your head that low, trying to evade right. a punch, you could eat one pretty easily. Comes up, yep. Ooh, nice cross. Wow. That might have hurt Sanders. That, that was the strongest right hand I've seen from Alte Denard all night. Yeah, that might have that might have at least paused Sanders. He took a brief moment. Perhaps we could see that in between rounds of replay on that. And he answers back with a solid left yeah. hand. Denard's got to be careful, though. I see him moving his head a lot and not a lot of hands up by his Ladies face. Ladies and gentlemen, this defense. is our third and final round. When you've got a power puncher like Mike Sanders in front of you, that defense becomes so, so important. Yeah, and I'm trying to see what each corner, it's harder to tell. I, I know Bashieri, he likes to emote a little bit more, so it's, it's better to get a sense of what he's telling his pupil right now. I well, think he's... You were saying before about uh, Mike Sanders' uh, level of experience and 36 years old in the fight game. He's making it one more run at things and seeing what he can do here uh, in the game. And here at K-Series, they were more than happy to give him that opportunity. When you get a, a veteran like that with high fight IQ, I mean, you can see it doesn't seem like Sanders has been in trouble, trouble. No. I mean, that last, that one right hand that yes. Denard landed in that last round. But it looks like Sanders is applying his game plan with punches. And it's working. I yep, mean, yeah. he, he's, you can see just with his bill, he's a sturdy, sturdy guy. And he, he can yeah, take oh a, lot of, God. a lot of shots. And it makes it be like, he's 36 years old and he's looking like that. That speaks to the diet and, and just the, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, geez, man. Commitment to the game, really. That's better than most 21-year-olds I know. And Taylor oh. just going crazy here. 
And Tay's corner in between rounds, Bashieri, of course, saying, I, I think he said something about watch those knees and utilize those leg kicks a little bit more. Big third round. Nice head movement from Denard. Oh, nice those solid. body kicks have been scoring. Solid shots. And especially, you know, there's a the thing about winning exchanges. If, if you land a shot and the guy doesn't respond, it's like, okay, I yeah. guess you win that exchange. So you can right. win a fight exchange by exchange by exchange. There's no response coming back. and you, That's like, okay, point yeah. for me. I could, I could keep walking yeah. forward. But you know what I've noticed is that Sanders is slowing down a little bit. Tay's looking to kind of reach his head back. He'll move out of the way of a shot, and he's looking to score big with that cross because he probably knows that that's the, the best shot that he's had that fight. And Sanders' jaw and mouth hanging open here. I don't know, maybe he broke catch it? a shot like that. Oh! I was going to say, if you catch a shot like that, it's easy to get, uh, it's very dangerous. You can get uh, knocked yeah. down or knocked out pretty easily if that mouth is open. 45 seconds remain. And both men need to, need to move here. It's possible something's up with his jaw. So I think might so. Be wrong with it. I don't know, because he hasn't closed it once. And I've only just started to notice it in this round. Yeah, it's hanging in a, in a particular way, too, yes. where it doesn't look like he has motor control over it. It's very possible. 25 seconds remain. Yeah, that's that's outside the norm, what we're that's seeing. That's for sure. But he is not slowing down whatsoever. If, by chance, something is wrong with his jaw, he's an absolute, I mean, he's still an absolute savage either way, but could you imagine that, the pace that he's pushing right now, and he, there's something wrong with his jaw? 10 seconds remain here. And continuing to take shots there. And Tay's really scoring with that cross. He's going to end off the round, pouring on Ooh, pressure. Wow. All right, his, his jaw's fine. It was just extreme exhaustion. Yeah, which you can understand. Look, look yeah. at the, the pace and the pressure. Yeah. And uh, also when you see a guy who's that muscular, that's, your body's demanding a lot of oxygen yes. when, you're, yeah. when you're putting out that kind of pace. Yep, absolutely. Great and, showing from both fighters. Yeah, Bashieri nods over to the other corners if to say you have my respect. Same with the fighters. And another just fantastic fight in, in what has been an, an absolute excellent evening. Bout number 13 just got over and done with. We'll have the official decision in a second. We still got five more bouts here. Excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six more bouts. Six bouts, yeah. And that will be the last bout of the evening with shin yeah. guards. From here on out, it's shin to shin, baby. Thank God. And I also, I want to give again a quick shout out to the production team, keeping everything high and tight with the, uh, the replays. Everything that you guys see, there at home has been possible because of their hard work and, you know, again, guys that go unsung a lot of the time. So, fantastic job by them. A lot of respect in there between competitors, yeah. so it's good to see. And then, you know, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Denard came up to me. <laughs> this is, they're going crazy there. Denard originally told me at, at weigh-ins that he was going to be a lot more mean this go-around. He feels like he's a little bit too nice in the lead-up to fights, but he said when he saw Sanders come up to him and show him so much respect, he said, I, yeah. I can't be, I don't want to be mean to this how guy. Can you, uh, yeah, how can, how you, can you hate him? Yeah, Mike Sanders, a real, really a gentleman. Let's hear it for these two great fighters, ladies and gentlemen. And now, after three hard-fought rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges have scored the fight in favor for your winner by way of unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Mike Sanders. So not the result that Denard would have wanted. I know he had plans of challenging for the title next. Again, like we said, you either uh, win or you learn. There's no real losing. Tay to do what he's done in the short time in the sport, I know he'll be back. And for Sanders, I mean, I know you mentioned it. He said he wants to take one last crack at things uh, while think, on his I way. He's going on a run for it. I mean, he, he's running for that for a title or, or making a championship run. And I mean, I think what we were saying earlier about the volume, the that that's what's being judged here, the output, the volume, the the number of shots coming in. I mean, it's just fantastic.